when I was 12, I went and saw Walt Disney's movie, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And when I came home, you know, parents will always ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I told my parents I wanted to be Captain Nemo, and they didn't laugh. I'm very honored and excited to have seen the new exhibit that really follows my dream to become Captain Nemo. When we first discovered the Titanic, I was not allowed to tell the true story because actually I served in naval intelligence for 30 years. We lost during the Cold War two U.S. nuclear submarines, and right in between was the Titanic. See, I wasn't supposed to find the Titanic. The French were supposed to find the Titanic. And then I would come in and film it because I knew I was only going to have a few days. They didn't find it. How was I going to find it in 12 days with a camera and a flashlight? And we knew that the, the Titanic was hit by an iceberg. It was brought down from the north and wouldn't debris follow that same current? So I said, let's gamble, because we had no choice, not to do closely spaced lines, but to do lines spaced far apart and go through that area very rapidly and look for the debris trail. I came in on that trail, and as soon as I crossed it, I knew to turn, and it walked me into the Titanic. The moment of discovery was, is always an amazing thing. To be able to associate yourself with a piece of human history doesn't get better than that. And if you look at what came out of the sinking of the Titanic, which is a big part of our exhibit, is how it transformed maritime history. It focuses on the lessons learned that saved so many lives in the future. It was a noble sacrifice in many ways because it led to much safer maritime travel. You feel like you're building the ship and when you go through the experience here, because it took a village, literally, to build this great ship. I think it gives you great respect for the intellectual engine of Belfast that built these ships. Because this was, and still is, a thriving community with a long, long history that most people don't know. But the Titanic tells not only the story of Titanic, it tells the story of Belfast. I've gone through it multiple times, and it never gets old. And then they're constantly renewing it, like they're doing with uh, this new exhibit, which is, again, a whole new facet of Titanic's story. What's special about coming here? When I found the Titanic, I found the old lady in her grave. And when I come here, I see the beautiful woman that set sail on her maiden voyage. You don't get that at the Titanic. You can only get that here. To be able to realize the amazingly beautiful ship that was built here in Belfast.